Well, we're sitting off on a big road trip in the Jeep because we're heading down to buy our next RV. Stay tuned. We're Mark and Julie Bennett of RV Love and we've been traveling around North America in an RV since 2014, living, working and traveling full time from the road. We've been embracing 2020 as a very different year than what we're used to and took some time to think about some new and different kinds of travels we'd like to experience. Which includes buying a new second RV. Today we're taking you on a road trip to share the story and show you what we bought for a very different kind of RV adventure. Yep, this is Texas. Looks like this for a really, really long way. <laughs> we're about to pick up our third RV. It's something that you're probably not expecting. Mark's focusing on the driving, so I'm doing the talking today. This is going to be about a 2,000 mile round trip. This is by far the longest trip we've ever taken in the Jeep right. so far. And it's really nice, really comfortable. We love our Jeep. So that is actually related to one of the reasons why we're making the change that we're making. So let's back up the bus a bit, if you will pardon the pun, get you caught up on what our thoughts have been and how our situation is changing. But so, you may remember from some previous videos we have done earlier this year, we've been entertaining the idea of getting a smaller RV. Uh, and the way that the year has been panning out is really not exactly the way that we were anticipating. But I think it would be fair to say that that is true for everybody. So, uh, yes, yeah, so here's where we're at with that. We've been, we rented a couple of RVs earlier in the year, a class B plus and a class C and borrowed a friend's van trying on smaller RVs on first size. We're going to continue searching, shopping, looking for smaller RVs. We are interested to think about the possibility of expanding our RV experience and maybe adding another one to our fleet. <laughs> We've been entertaining this idea for quite a while. Not wanting to downsize CC as a home, which is 40 feet motorhome. We've been really happy. We love our CC. Our first motorhome is 36 foot. This is 40 feet. And for us living full time and working full time in our motorhome, that size has been great. And we know ourselves. We know ourselves well. We know what works. We know what doesn't. We know what we need. We'd initially been leaning toward a smaller motorhome because we had a lot of book signing events coming up. We had RV rallies and shows and that kind of a thing. And we thought it would be really nice to have something smaller to zip off and do those business and work related uh, trips in a smaller motorhome than taking our big CC. Well then COVID hit and of course that just brought everyone to a grinding halt including us sitting and really reassessing life and our travels and where we've been and where we're going and what we want next in our life and we realized you know we don't want to make any changes at all right now. We were very happy boondocking in the desert for five weeks. We felt really safe and comfortable in our motorhome off grid away from everyone else so that actually was perfect for us for five weeks then we uh, scooted up to Colorado where we were for 10 weeks which was great in one campground and so our travels have really slowed down a lot and you've got to remember we've also been full-time RVing for over six years now mm -hmm. and we have visited all 50 states many of them multiple times so we've seen a lot we're very blessed I feel very grateful that we've seen and done a lot in our six years of full-time travel so far so COVID causing everyone to rethink things there's really no point getting a second little motorhome for the purpose of traveling around to these events when the events have all been cancelled, right? So social distancing, no events. So we're like, well, we don't need a little motorhome for that. And, and I think we had some really good feedback in the comments too from some of you on the videos saying, well, that's just another drivetrain to look after, which is true. We love motorhomes. We've had a Class A gas, Class A diesel, love motorhomes. Definitely, definitely partial to motorhomes. It's especially nice for passengers. Yeah, <laughs> like me. They get up, they go to the bathroom, they get food, they can go on. Are you talking about anyone in particular? And when, you sh and when you show up at a campground, they might not even need to get out of the RV at or all. Or even help so direct them to make you into a site. You yes. just got mad skills, you don't need my help with that. Anyway, so we decided that putting that whole little second smaller motorhome plan on hold. We didn't want to sell the Jeep. We loved the Jeep and we wanted that run around. So it was just not feeling very practical. 
COVID put everything on hold and we're like, you know, we're just going to stay with our setup just the way we've got it. So we've been doing that very happily for the last few months. So then we were in Colorado, we decided to spend the summer in Colorado, weather's good here. We, and we didn't, like a lot of you, are not traveling as far this year. I think a lot of people are staying close at home, traveling within a tank of gas. And that I think is a really good strategy for this pandemic year. I mean, everyone can do what they want. You can travel the whole country if you want to, but we've already done that. And we just don't want to add more stress to our lives. And so we just wanted things to be easier and wanting more flexibility in our life and in our travels. But we've seen so much of the country. There's still a lot to see, but some of those are smaller roads that we can't do with our big coach. So we have been shopping smaller RVs but we don't want to sell the Jeep. So we've been shopping smaller RVs that we can tow with the Jeep. But we didn't want to over invest. We don't, we don't want something too heavy because what's the weight towing capacity on the Jeep? So our Jeep has a towing capacity of 4,500 pounds. So you need to stay well underneath that to be able to tow it safely. Mm -hmm. So we started looking for still a smaller second RV to tow with the Jeep so we can still keep our tow vehicle. We're almost there. You're gonna to get to see it really soon. <laughs> Golfing community. This is, yeah, I'm not very worried about something being wrong with this trailer. <laughs> you think? We've actually never seen this camper in person. We've done a lot of research online, of course, and this is something we don't recommend people do. We don't recommend people buy RVs sight unseen, especially about having the professional inspection in advance, but this one is virtually new and we just had a lot of trust and faith in this seller so it's a bit you know, of a we, risk we bought it over the phone and part of this because rvs are so hard to come by right now rvs are selling so fast in fact it's a almost a bidding war sometimes right now with these current rv demand and supply shortage and this is one a very specific unit we've been looking for for quite some time when it showed up we had to act quickly and make a purchase sight unseen but we're almost there, we're about two houses from it. There is more to this story. We need to go take care of business. So we'll be back soon to fill you in on the rest of the details and show you the RV. There it is. As soon as I saw the add-on RV trader, I'm like, that's exactly what we were planning on ordering new, but it was gonna be a six month wait. And this is exactly what we're after. Practically new, hardly been used, we're gonna go check it out. We've arrived and ta-da! It's a little casino. We did a check over the casita and everything was great, just as we expected. So we completed the deal. Then we begin our 1,000 mile drive back to Colorado where our 40 foot motorhome is parked. So what exactly is our new little camper? It's a 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe 17 foot fiberglass travel trailer. In the coming week, we'll be giving you a full tour inside and out of our little Casita. So keep an eye out for that. Now we know you'll have a ton of questions for us, so please leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them in a future video. Meanwhile, we've got a big drive ahead of us and we've got a whole lot more to share with you about our new camper, our current 40 foot motorhome, our future plans and more RV adventures. So until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.